Well, hello, my big kids and my little chicken nuggets. Welcome back to another edition of Mr. B's Art Room. Today, I'm going to start off with a story. It's a story about when I was in second grade, and I had a good friend. His name was Tommy. Now, Tommy learned to do something that nobody else could do. Tommy learned to fold paper and make these things called chompers. Really cool, isn't it? Well, Tommy started making these at school, and the kids said, Can you make one for me, please? And kids were lined up wanting him to make these. Well, Tommy didn't have enough time at school to do that. And he went home and he started to make some, and he came up with an idea that he thought was brilliant. Is he filled his whole backpack with chompers, brought them to school, and then he sold them for a quarter apiece. Tommy made a lot of money. Kids could not figure out how to make these. Well, Steve, I see you, and I know you are thinking already. I'm going to make a ton of these, and when school gets back in session, I'll be rich. Not so fast, Steve. 35 years later, I figured out Tommy's secret, and I'm going to share it with all of you today. How to make a chomper. In order to do this, you're going to need some paper. That's the only supply that you need. There's a couple other things that you can use. You can use scissors if you want to. You don't have to, though and crayons or something to color with. Now, my little chicken nuggets, this might be a little difficult, so don't hesitate to ask your mom or dad or big brother or somebody to help you with the folding part. All right, here we go. Tommy's top secret chompers. Get ready. First, you're gonna take your paper and you guys need to fold it in half. and. A lot of times when I say that in class, you guys say hamburger or hot dog style. We're gonna do it hamburger style. So I fold it like this. Crease it down, pressing hard on that folded edge. And then I'll turn it this way. So you can see I have the crease up top and I can open it from the bottom. Take the bottom edge, just the first paper, and fold it up to match this top edge increase or fold along the bottom here then you can see I still have one page down low and I've folded the bottom up flip it over and I will do the same with this bottom piece taking this and matching it up with this top edge and folding it crease slide your finger across that bottom edge now, fold that back down, just the one piece, and you'll see I have the top, then this fold, and the bottom. We're going to take the corners of the bottom two edges and fold those in until this line matches up. It was the outside edge folding it over until it matches up with the center there. Do a nice crease. Repeat that on this side up to this edge. So this side matching that edge. Put it there and slide your finger down to create that crease. So I have one, two. Do a third one. Now this time you're not grabbing both. There's, there's that little folded piece that's like a, you can almost turn it like a page of a book. Fold that, again, taking this outer edge and matching it up in the center here. If you don't get it exact, it's okay. Get it as close as you can. So we have one, two, three corners folded. You're probably going to guess we'll do this one next. Not quite. What I want you to do is fold or flip like you're turning a page. Flip it down. And now hit this corner edge right here, matching it up here. We'll fold just like we've done before, except it's on the opposite side. So you have one fold corner on this side and one folded corner on that side. To finish this off, we're going to fold this corner and that corner just as we did these bottom two corners. So this side matching up with this edge here. Push down hard for a nice crease. Do the same on the opposite side. Matching up 
this outer edge with the center line there. There. So it has somewhat of a diamond shape and I close this top now. Okay, so all three pieces you can see are closed down. Kind of looks like a boat. Now you can use your scissors or your hands to tear this next part. I'm going to use my hands as if I did not have scissors. But before we do any tearing, take these two corners and fold them together so that they touch. You can see I brought one to the other and I'm just pinching it. I'm not squeezing all the way yet. Now there's a long top edge and a short bottom edge. Go to the long top edge and just kind of slide it down and pinch a little crease right here. Not the whole edge, just the top corner. So that when I open it back up, you can see there's a bend right in the exact center. We found the center line of that top edge. Now you use your scissors or tear carefully. I'm going to do a little tear. And not very long, just a short little tear is all you need. Okay, so I've torn it in the middle. Now I need to tear here and here as well, but not from the side here. I'm going to turn this and open carefully. Open, you can see this is going to become the chomper's mouth. But up here at the top, I need to tear or cut with scissors just a little bit. I've separated the top on that side. I'll flip it and tear or cut again the top on that side. Now, closing it back up, I've flipped it upside down, the long edges on the bottom. I've torn it here, here, and here. Take this top edge, there's two little pieces, and flip it up and create a nice crease by pressing hard. Do the same on this side. You can see that's where I tore it, and that's where I tore it. So I'll do it here as well. And I've torn it there already, and that center part is where I tore it. Now, if yours is a little bit thicker than this one, or thinner, it doesn't matter. These are just the outside edges of the chomper's mouth. I'll do the same by flipping this whole thing over. And again, I tore it here, here, and here. Flip this up, crease it. Flip that side up, crease it. And then carefully pick it up and open and pull at those two edges. Now, when you do that, you can see I've created my chomper. It should automatically open and close. You just put your top couple fingers on there, your bottom thumb and little finger there, and you can chomp, chomp, chomp. Now, if it creases like you can see it's done here, just stick your fingers in and pop it back out. Chomp, chomp, chomp. There you have it, a chomper. Hey, that was great. You guys did a wonderful job with that. Now, I promise you, the more you practice, the easier this becomes. After you do it one or two times, you won't even need my video anymore. But until then, you can rewind, pause, follow my steps. I'll be there with you the whole time. Now, when I was a kid, I used to love to play video games. And I had a favorite... Yeah, I had a favorite video. Steve, quit interrupting. It was not Minecraft. No. No. Steve, it wasn't Fortnite either. Nope, not Roblox. This was a game way before your time, Steve. It was a game where a little guy used to eat dots and then ghosts like these. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it was called Pac-Man. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, here comes Pac-Man. And he'd eat those ghosts. Well, you can see my Pac-Man is yellow. I used yellow paper. I found some yellow paper and folded it to make Pac-Man. Now, if you want to add color to yours, you can do the same as me. Find some colored paper. Or you can take your plain white one and color it with crayons or markers, whatever you have. Coloring the inside, however, might be a little difficult. So I'm going to show you another technique to fold and color before you fold. So follow these directions and you'll have your Pac-Man or your whatever you want to make. You could turn this into a dragon or a lizard. Whatever you want to make, you can have it colored ahead of time. All right, here we go. Might be a little bit faster, but if you need me to slow down, pause. 
To add color before you fold, follow these steps. Take your paper and fold it in half, as you would say, hamburger style. Crease along the edge. My creased edge is here. Take one of the bottom two pages, flip it up, and crease that edge. Take the entire paper, flipping it over, and crease that edge. Now it's time to add color. Now, where do we add color? If you hold your paper like this, you can see that that will become the chomper's mouth. If I do it this way, that's not correct. That's the inside. You won't see that, so there's no need to add color on this side. Flipping it over, chomp, chomp. See the chomper's mouth? So, I will open it up, chomp, open his mouth wide, add my color. Green up top. Green on the bottom. Red inside of his mouth. Once you've added the color, you can continue with your fold. So I had it this way, folding it back up. There's the chomper's mouth. Folding it back this way, I flip one page down. There's that center. And remember, bringing this outer edge to the corner. This outer edge, I said to the corner, to the center. To the center again. So I have two corners. And one, you can do either side, corner, matching up to the center there as well. So I have one, two, three. Then I flip down this center piece. Fold it up. Fold this corner down, that corner down, and fold the entire thing down. You can see it's green there. If I'm careful, I can open up and see the inside that way. So I need to tear or cut. This time I will cut, just to show you. You can do it both ways. Cut, open it up, cut a little there and cut just a little there. Put it back down and flip up that little part where it was cut on both sides. Flip it over. Do the same. And there we have a chomper. Once you're finished, you can add eyes or something else. Let me see if I can do that. I'll put a, an eyeball here, flip it over, and an eyeball there. Oh yeah, that looks great. Chomp, 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 chomp. You did great! So now you know how to fold them, you know how to add color. I want to show one more thing to you that you can do with these. You can make different sizes. Check this one out. This one is so big I have to use two hands to open and close his mouth. So how did I get this giant one? I used giant paper. I also made another one, look at this guy, a little tiny one. I used a small piece of paper. So you can get different size Pac-Mans or chompers based on whatever size paper you use. Now, I'm so glad you joined me. Keep practicing, keep making them. Steve, remember you can't sell these at school because the secret's out. I told Tommy's secret to everybody. All right? Well, thanks for joining me today. As always, as you make your project, send me an email. Show me what you've done. I'd love to see it. bbojanowski at rhmail.org. I've got several emails already. I'll share those with you guys later. Thanks. Have a great day.